In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to measure the pitch of a gear, more specifically a radio control car gear. I have two 1 8 scale buggies here with me, and I have them here for two reasons. The first one is there's a couple 3D printed parts that exist on this one, specifically at the front end here, and I have a 3D printed part on this newer buggy that exists somewhere in the middle here. And we're going to talk more about this in a later video. However, the second reason I have these buggies here with me today is because of specifically this new one. I ended up purchasing this buggy along with a bunch of pinion gears. Now I went on a website where I purchased the buggy from and looked up the, the pitch that they were saying within the specifications. And I know Tower Hobbies is excellent for providing the specifications. However, I looked, it said 32 pitch gear for this 1 8 scale buggy. And of course I went ahead and bought the those specific gears. And of course, a long story short, I couldn't find any other information on instruction manuals. And when the buggy and gears arrived, I tried installing them and they didn't fit. So here I was, I had a bunch of gears in my hand. I had spur gear taken out from the buggy and I had to measure them to see if the pitches or what the pitches actually are. You may be trying to do the same thing, measure the pitch of the gear in order to determine um, if you have ones that match. You might be looking to upgrade your pinion gear set and you want to know which gear you have to buy in terms of the pitch. You probably already have a good idea of the number of teeth you need. However, matching pitches is something that you have to do. You have to make sure you match the pitch, otherwise the gears will not match. And that's what we're gonna be looking at right now. So the first thing that you have to do, I have a couple gears with me. We're gonna see if these are actually a matching set. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is identify the number of teeth that the gear has. So if I look at my spur gear, um, generally the number of teeth are gonna be written right on the gear. This one in fact says 44. It's stamped right into the mold when they make this gear. So I know this guy has 44 teeth. And if I look at my pinion gear, uh, this should also have it stamped right on the gear. So this is saying 18 teeth. So that's, that's perfect. Now the next step that we have to do, and I'd recommend using vernier calipers. If you don't have calipers such as these, then you can go ahead and try and use the ruler. You don't need a great deal of accuracy, so it should be entirely possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and zero in my calipers and I'm gonna measure the actual spur gear. When I measure the spur gear, I'm just taking the dimension that I read out. So this is coming in at 46 millimeters. That's the spur gear. And now I'm gonna measure the actual pinion gear. When I measure the pinion gear, I'm getting exactly 20 millimeters. So now that we have both the dimensions of the actual outer diameter of the pinion gears, we can go ahead and enter this information in the, in the calculator. Okay, now that we have the specifications of the gears that we want to measure the pitch of, we can go ahead and enter the information on the radio control info calculator. So the first thing that we need to do is hop onto the radiocontrolinfo.com website then what we want to do is pan over, hover on this information tab, select RC general calculators just by hovering, and then we actually click the RC gear calculator. From here, this is the page that we will enter the information on. So we're going to be using the metric module and diametral pitch calculator. And the first thing that we're going to do is the pinion gear. So I have the pinion gear here with me. This is the one that we ended up measuring and we measured a diameter of 20 millimeters and we also had the number of teeth equaling out to 18. So we're gonna go ahead and input this information in here and we're gonna hit calculate. Now when we hit calculate, it spits out both numbers. So we have the metric version of pitch and we have the imperial version of pitch. The imperial version is 25.4 and the metric version is one. So this has a metric module of one and a diametral pitch of 25.4 uh, in terms of your imperial dimension there. So these are the ones that you might be more familiar with. And of course the metric mod one, this is known as just mod one in the RC world, in the RC industry. So now we can go ahead, reset this calculator and we wanna input the information now for the other gear. So this is now the spur gear. Remember we're trying to match the pitches to make sure they mesh. So here is the the spur gear. This is the one that we ended up measuring. So we know that this also has um, a teeth that we counted being 44. So we enter the number of teeth 44. We also measured the outer gear diameter at 46. So now we can go ahead and hit calculate. 
and it spits out yet again the metric module and the diametral pitch 25.4 so the metric mod it's me, it's mod 1 just like our pinion and diametral pitch is 25.4 so now we know that these things um, are able to mesh and of course we knew that before because we had them in our hands however if we needed to purchase a pinion that matches up with this gear we would now know exactly which one we need we need the one that has a metric mod 1 so we can go ahead and make that order um, that's it for this video. If you want to see more videos on anything related to RC, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.